feel like it, it fits into the category of one of the best of the year for me personally, just because it gave me an experience that I cannot say that I've had with all the other movies that I've gotten to watch this year. What's good everybody, welcome back to Whole Views and today we're going to be talking about a movie called Old directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't so far. We thank you so much for every subscription. We thank you so much for every view. Uh, so appreciative for everybody who hits the bells and hits the alerts and hits the buttons and stuff and like the videos and, and drop comments. It's so much, so deeply appreciated. So let's go ahead and talk about my background with Old and then my review of the film. So I did a Super Bowl trailer reaction for old for the 2021 Super Bowl and I knew it was coming out in the summer but due to COVID didn't come out in my state at all. I would have to drive I think to like Eastern Texas and see it. So didn't have the opportunity to see old in theaters and then time passed and I forgot about it. But my producer watched it this past weekend and I thought you know it's cool that you got to ch catch up with it. He said he enjoyed it. He said, hey, I suggest that you take a look at it. You were excited when you saw the trailer. You might you might really feel this thing. So I decided to give it a watch and hear my thoughts. I know that Old was kind of not well received by audiences and critics alike. But for me personally, I feel like it's one of my favorite movies this year. Yeah, it sneaks in there at the moment. Um, it's something that I definitely want to rewatch and we'll get into all the numbers later, but the concept had me so intrigued and then watching the film unfold the way it unfolded, specifically with the way it was shot, designed to make you not see things and not notice things and then start noticing things, man, it was it was quite the experience and I, I enjoyed watching it that first time and I'm looking forward to watching it again with my wife and then again with maybe anybody else very very high marks very very high overall score to me with a 9 out of 10 so let's break down why i gave it that average of you know with the things that i look at right off the bat with visuals the movie is not shot like most other movies are shot like the camera does not do specific cuts all the time sometimes it'll just move from one place to another and it's designed to make you notice the differences that are taking place with the time dilation, weird stuff that's going on in the film. It's very, very interesting. Uh, a lot of times you'll see scenes where things are happening and you not seeing what's happening. It's kind of happening off screen and that creates a lot of tension. I'm thinking specifically about a few beach scenes where it's like, man, this sounds intense. And from the angle I'm seeing it, it looks intense, but I, it's messing me up to know how and where things are occurring. Really messed me up. For story, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, it's all concept. If you get behind the concept and you're watching like a detective, that's the way I tend to watch any kind of mystery or any kind of movie where there's a big reveal in it. Um, I watched this thing and I was locked in because of the concept and then when things really started to kick off when they got to the beach, I was just very, very, very into what could be the possible cause for this conflict. Um, if you're into the concept, you're gonna love the movie but if you're not into the concept i think that you won't like the movie as much as you could for me i was in love with the with the idea of time moving differently and things happening weirdly on this beach and the characters in place not knowing why things happen the way they happen and trying to figure it out that kept me on the edge of my seat along with the way the movie was shot what i just mentioned in the visuals uh, I will say though, I did deduct one solid point because there's some logic gaps in the movie. Not saying that the movie didn't make sense logically, more saying along the lines of they hit you with all these rules of, of this time warp the system that they kind of caught in, but they don't consistently follow their own logic and own rules. It's not huge, like leaps and gaps, but there's enough to be like, mm, I kind of noticed that right there like yeah, it's supposed to be this way and it's not so because it's noticeable i'll deduct one point but aside from that i love the concept i love the story and the way it was told and the way it unfolded it was real good to me pace i give this movie an 8 out of 10 mainly because when you watch it it kind of starts slow like i thought wow immediately we're at the resort things are happening but it didn't quite go like that there's a little bit of setup 
that by the time you get to the end, you have a deeper appreciation for everything that took place before they actually got to the beach. But again, it took like 15, 20 minutes to get to the beach. Once you get to the beach, things really get rolling uh, and they get quite weird and you start to notice things pretty fast. So absolutely, positively good in the area of pace. Maybe a little bit tighter, but when you notice the things that are useful in that front half, you kind of like, ah, I'm, just, I'm okay with it. So eight out of 10 for the pace. I enjoyed the way things were paced. Once it picked up, didn't let go. Entertainment value. So for me, highly entertaining because again, I'm watching like a detective. So I'm thinking, is this aliens? Is this uh, like an elaborate science project? Is this like a head trip for the characters that they like somebody in the movie actually said, like maybe we all experiencing the same delusions. Like maybe that's what's happening. Uh, did they go into a parallel universe? Like all the things that were being thrown out were going through my mind as I was watching it. And for me, I, I'm kind of just intrigued to see other audience members, like people that I watch with, watch it and them go through the same process if they're into it. Again, if the concept grabs you, you'll be locked in and you'll be on the edge of your seat trying to figure out how they're gonna get out of the situation. There's little hints in here that you can think all kind of different things. Watching a story unfold, highly entertaining. Watching the way things were told and trying to get inside the way things happen logically. Like, oh man, it was good. It was very good. Ed edge of my seat stuff. And I was right there with the characters just trying to figure things out and see what was going on. So real high marks for entertainment value and finally that brings us to rewatchability and for me eight out of ten i've actually uh, over the course of doing my my scale the way that i've done it i've actually gotten a lot tougher in the area of rewatchability because yes i'll recommend it that'll get you to like a five like yeah this is cool would i be willing to watch it again okay a few more points but with this one i'm saying eight out of ten because not only do I want to watch it with certain people uh, just to see their reaction and how they grasp the material, but I'm willing to watch it again myself at least one or two more times. And like, that's not normal for a lot of the films that I've been seeing lately. So high rewatchability for me personally. Now, aside from all those things that I mentioned, I feel like it, it fits into the category of one of the best of the year for me personally, just because it gave me an experience that I cannot say that I've had with all the other movies that I've gotten to watch this year. So it's up there for me. It's, it's really high up there for me. Some people might look at me like, oh, you crazy if you didn't like this, but you like that. But old was one of the ones for me that it, it hit home and gripped me, gripped me to the point where like, I really want to see this person watch it and see what they think or that person watch it and see what they think. Uh, and I'll sit down with them and I'll let them ask me questions and not answer a thing and just watch them go through it. If, again, if they're into it. And I think that might have been what took a lot of people out. Just maybe you had a lot of audience members that saw it and it was like, mm, this is not that gripping. Or maybe it was the marketing being marketed as a horror and it was not scary at all. It was more like a mystery. Very, very good mystery. So I don't know. I don't know which one of those that, that audience members fell on, but I know I fell the way I fell and I very much enjoyed what I got. So that's all I have here. I highly recommend Old for any science fiction fans, anybody who wants to see like a real gripping mystery to, to understand like what's what's going on to these people and what's happening to them, why they're aging like they're aging. Like that stuff was good, man. It was good to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to watch it again. So that's why I fall. That's all I have. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Please come back and check out more videos.